Now, uh, the abortion issue, every time this is even mentioned, if it just, as some of it just comes out of the water, people say, oh, my golly, you mustn't discuss that. Well, we're allowed to. I would hope encouraged to discuss all sorts of issues. This has come forward from a, a Tory MP. Now, please know this. Just put any prejudice aside. Stephen Harper, Stephen Harper is at his happiest when no one is mentioning issues of abortion, life, sexuality. He wants to, he may have personal views, but he wants to govern as a fiscal conservative to a large extent a social liberal. That is the man. He's not an evangelical Christian. He's not someone who has a hidden agenda. I wish he did, but he doesn't. So anyone who says otherwise is either ill or misinformed or they're simply lying. Speaking of lying, let's have a look at this clip from the NDP leader. We're not going to be fooled by Stephen Harper and his troops. I mean, they've been up to this for a number of years now. We know what it's really about. It's Stephen Harper and his Reform Party base trying to reopen the, the abortion debate. We're not going to be fooled by that. We know exactly what this is about. How do you vote in that? Can you just explain how you'll vote? We're going to vote against it. So the NDP leader uh, wants uh, people to die simply because they're women. Sounds a bit misogynistic. And you're a lying hound, sir, because you know Harper and you know he really does not want this one to be reopened. Lisa Globe from Campaign Life Coalition. Sex selective abortions. This is about... Babies being killed only and solely because they are female. It's been brought forward as, as a possible bill by an MP. And a lot of people who are even sort of passively pro-choice are very worried about this. It, mm -hmm. it, it's visceral. They, they think it's wrong. Yeah, and it's interesting to, to look at that clip by Thomas Mulclair because back in June, the Globe and Mail reported about Libby Davies and Nikki Ashton, and they came out saying that this um, shows deep, uh, deep insecurities between um, and inequalities between men and women in our society, and that needs to be combated. Did they? I didn't know they, they said did. That. It's right. Yeah. You can Google search it right wow. now. Um, so it, it, obviously, that party is putting out conf conflicting messaging, mm. and they know. In one hand, yes, it is talking about termination of pregnancy, which is abortion. But on the other hand, we're talking solely on discrimination of females. Mm. And you're absolutely right. Stephen Harper does not want this debate whatsoever. And he is actually making it about the abortion debate because when they asked his office, what do you think about this motion, which talks about discrimination against women, he mm. said, oh, we're, I don't want to reopen the abortion debate. So he is making it into an abortion mm. debate. Debate by giving and his that cabinet answer. is dominated by people who are more socially liberal. The, the, the back bench, the, the caucus might be quite conservative on these issues, but his cabinet isn't. Mm -hmm. You mentioned two NDP MPs there mm -hmm. who are on the, the left of the party. Mm -hmm. So that if they've said that, but let's talk about this issue because I, I find there's a, there's a logical implosion here. Mm -hmm. If it's a human life in the womb, mm -hmm. surely it's always wrong to kill. If it's not a human life in the womb, what does it matter? Black, brown, handicapped, gender? Kill. Yeah, it's and I was watching the CBC panel yesterday. I'm sorry, I don't know if I should say that on your Hey, but. when I can't see, who was on it? Um, I I couldn't even tell you. Yeah, exactly. You know? I don't even know. <laughs> people, I know. People. Yes, people and, with uh, with very centrist and sensible <laughs> opinions. And yeah. uh, they were just talking about how they're, it makes them very uncomfortable. Why? Um, exactly. That's you know, it, and no one was asking that question. And they said all of them said all five of them said I'm very pro-choice. I've been outspoken about that, but this particular um, motion makes me uncomfortable. And let's not forget that it's just a motion. It's yeah. not even a bill. It wouldn't make a, it a criminal offense. It's just the. It's just a motion saying, asking Parliament to say this is wrong. That is so illogical. You, may, you might feel uncomfortable, but feelings have to be intellectualised. What do they really object to? What we're talking about here is in, in some cultures, particularly in parts of Asia, there is an inherent uh, misogyny. It's archaic, and it's there for all sorts of reasons. It's been engineered in China through communism, one-child policy, and in parts of South Asia it's slightly different. They want sons rather than daughters. Mm -hmm. So they will have an ultrasound. If it's female, they'll have an abortion to the point where in many parts of this country now, technicians are told, do not tell people the gender of the child. Mm -hmm. They can't actually request an abortion on basis of gender. So if that's not allowed, they'll go abroad. Mm -hmm. We're saying if you're female, you have no right to live. We've been saying that to handicapped people for years. If you have um, implications or indications of Down syndrome, it's an 88% chance we'll abort you. So if we do it to the handicapped, What's the difference if we, we say it's gender rather than ability? Exactly. I mean, anybody who's uncomfortable and anyone who is against gender selection abortion by logically has to be against 
g abortion in general. It mm. makes no sense to be against abortion just because the fetus is female, because if you are pro-choice, you're saying that it doesn't matter if the fetus is female or not, they're not human. Mm. So it completely contradicts it, um, you know, that whole pro-choice logic. And I really, it's really interesting from the pro-life perspective to see these pro-choicers go at each other, mm. these pro-aborts go at each other because they all have different opinions on this mm. and they know that they're not being logical in the end. And that's why Thomas Malclair has to come out so radically. You know, they talk about the radical people on this issue, that, what he came mm. out with yesterday, that is the most radical thing. He's telling the entire country that he's okay with female fetuses being aborted in the womb. And mm. um, I loved a quote by Mark Stein who said, a woman's right to choose has resulted in women choosing there be no more women. And that's ultimately <laughs> what it comes down to. If we said um, the unborn child is Jewish, will abort. Mm -hmm. Gentile, fine, Jewish will abort. Or if we said there's a gay gene, I mean, there's, there's not, but there's a gay, if they're gay, abort. Just imagine what the response would be. Well, mm -hmm. equally, we should be protecting women. Equally, we should be protecting all life, particularly its most vulnerable. I mean, Molker is an aching hypocrite on this, and he knows he mm -hmm. is, because there are many, you can, you can see ordinary women who viscerally are so offended by this. They, 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 they may be, as I say, passively pro-choice, and I understand that position, but suddenly it's brought home to them, my golly, this could have been me. Simply because I wasn't male, I wouldn't have been allowed to live, and that's wrong. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is wrong. Most definitely. And this is happening in Canadian society, and it's not by the pro-life organizations who are coming out. It's the Canadian Medical Association Journal. It's the CBC going undercover, doing their sting operations, mm. realizing that out of 22 abortuaries, two out of three would do early gender testing for the specific purposes of finding out the gender to abort. So it's these, you know, secular and pro-abortion pro um, organizations coming out saying this is happening, mm. we need to do something about this. Mm. And so when, you know, 92% of Canadians want um, some type of, want to laws restricting gender selection abortion, um, you know, you have Parliament and, and uh, the official opposition coming out saying, oh, we're going to vote against that motion. So it's, they are representing the 8% of the country. Well, that's well put. They are terrified. I mean, you know this better than I do. They are terrified of, of any dent, any wedge in their position, the door being opened a little, because they know that once we, we accept that this is life, it has to move further. And let's not be disingenuous here. This is about gender-selected abortion, but there, there is a greater problem, yes. which is... I mean, yes, generally it's black, brown, handicapped and female, the main victims of abortion. Mm -hmm. But it, it's, it's also saying there's a life here. Do what you want with your body. It's nothing to do with me, but there's another body, there's another person. Interesting, fascinating times. And if anyone thinks that Harper welcomes this debate, they either do not know this man or they're just lying through their teeth. Thank you so much, as always. Thank you, Michael.